All right, hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 with Chauncey Del Mango. As you all remember, last episode we went to the Hijinks Festival and watched some creepy guy stab a fucking voodoo doll. Anyway, Chauncey, yet again, has the day off. So, uh, those vacation days really were taken at a good time for Chauncey to have some quality time off. So, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to get into today, but, uh, as always, we'll just... We'll just wing it like, uh, like I do with everything in my life. All right, so Chauncey is awaking this beautiful day, and uh, looks like he needs to eat. So let's go ahead and have him um, have breakfast, and let's see if he can do something different here. Uh, we'll do pancakes. What the fuck? Where the fuck did this plate of eggs and toast come from? Go in the fridge. Why won't you go in the fridge? There we go. All right, all right, it's in the fridge. Jesus. All right, so Chauncey has reached cooking level five at this point, so hopefully now he won't burn the place down, but you never know with Chauncey. All right, so the skillet is hanging half off the stove. That's one good way to uh, cook a pancake uneven as shit. Oh, fuck. All right, so now Chauncey is going to uh, empty his trash can and we're gonna say hi to our neighbor here that we apparently have a bad relationship with. We're gonna try to mend that relationship right now with, uh, who the hell are you? With Serena. All right, and Chauncey continues to talk it up while Serena's roommate comes out to open up the little box to look at mail. All right, so while Chauncey is talking to Serena here, I just realized that, uh, we need to pay our rent. I swear I thought I did that, but, uh, oops. All right, so Chauncey has paid the rent. He is now $500 poor, and I just love how the damn neighbors just walk in my house, like, just to wash her damn hands. Oh, Chauncey, come on, man. You don't know who else been on that carpet? That, that freaking moss green shit? All right, so you know, while Chauncey's out in the hallway, why not talk to our other neighbor? We're gonna try to build our relationship up with our neighbors a little bit here. It's not good to not like your neighbors. You never know when you're gonna need a cup of sugar. Uh, do people still do that? Do people still borrow sugar and shit? I don't think so, because nowadays you borrow sugar from your neighbor, you're liable to get fucking meth. All right, so Chauncey, uh, his little plum bob is like a, a stale yellow, so it looks like he needs to use the bathroom. And I just noticed that Chauncey can now upgrade shit. So Chauncey's got his neighbors inside of his house. Not sure if Bridget uh, would find that appealing if she were to come over, but yeah, you know, she's 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 not over here So that, that, let's not let's not, let's not worry about it. All right So as you all know Chauncey's a gamer. He's got a game a little bit every once in a while So why not use a chill day to play fucking multiplayer bowling because my god That's what we all just want to do isn't it? All right, so now we're apparently playing multiplayer golf this this game could not pick the most boring ass sports for a multiplayer. Like, who gets with their friends and says, Hey, Dave, after school, you want to go and play extreme fucking golf? No! To those of you who actually do play golf games and all that, I, I, I sincerely apologize, but it, yeah. So Chauncey's still playing the video games. He's now reached a level two. He can now discuss game strategy with other Sims. Not like you, you know, not like a fucking stupid possum could do that. Why the hell is this not moving? There we go. All right, all right. All right, so let's check on Chauncey's needs. Looks like he's pretty good. He might need to take a shower here before he goes out. We are going to have Chauncey go out today with a few people. He needs to build some relationships up. He really doesn't have anything going on besides uh, Bridget. So if you look here, uh, his friend's bar is pretty, pretty sad. It's about like me and my friends in real life. All right, so Chauncey is on his way to take a brisk shower, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna kick this woman out of his out of his uh, little shower area. Uh, okay, no, he's just gonna get straight naked in front of her. All right, that's how Chauncey rolls. Cool, glad to know. All right, so Chauncey is now done with the shower. Let's go ahead and uh, you know it's 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 around noon. Let's go ahead and travel and see the uh, what, what's going on. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll let him chat for a little bit, and then we're gonna travel somewhere to I don't know, do something. All right, guys, so we're gonna travel with our two neighbors that we're already hanging out with, and uh, this this dude, I, I don't know who the hell he is, but you know what? Uh, he's gonna join us. We're gonna go to the old salt house. I don't know what the hell we do here, but I guess we do salt-related activities. All right, so the purpose of this today is to have Chauncey build some relationships. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Uh, uh, yeah, let's compliment his outfit. That's exactly what guys do. Hey, bro, sick leather jacket. So I really love how Chauncey is uh, talking to this guy, but he's got both of these girls literally right beside him, and Chauncey's definitely 
the odd man out here right now. Okay, so, um, apparently the salt house is not something you can actually go in and partake in because it's just, just, I think it's just somebody's house, so, so yeah, yeah, great, great job there, uh, great job there on picking a, an activity for everyone to do, go to a vacant house, I thought it was like a bar or some shit. Alright, so Chauncey is testing his basketball skills now, uh, since there's not really, <coughs> oh, shit, much else to do, so, Man, let me, let me tell you what, this is just a, a hoot nanny of a day. Alright, so Chauncey's got everyone else together and, uh, you know, I'm not gonna judge Akira. What the hell's this guy's name again? Ak Akira, like fucking okra with an A. This chick, I, I swear to God, she's just all over okra here. I mean, he can't even play basketball. Apparently, Selena likes the man bun. So I know it's not that fucking barcode shirt, it sure as hell didn't help Chauncey out. Alright, so it's the post-game now, uh, Chauncey just LeBron James to the hell out of everybody else in here. So now he's gonna chat with, oh god, Serena and, and Okra here, and then we've got this fucking weirdo on the bench. Oh god, a spinach-wrapped veggie burrito? God, just gag me with a seashell. Oh god, tomato-wrapped burrito? Oh, I I'm actually gagging, that's fucking gross. That's a creepy fucking van. I bet there's a guy in the back of that with a fucking camera. So Chauncey goes out with, uh... with three people and he eats by himself. Seems about right. Alright, so Chauncey and his band of misfits... Couldn't get that word out. Decided to come to the karaoke bar right across the street. So we're gonna order some drinks. Order drinks for group. And, uh, I don't know. God, everything's so expensive on here. Just get the... But here, 48, juice on the rocks. Here, guys, I'm gonna order you some tomato juice. Alright, so if Chauncey can't uh, bribe these people into being his friends with an $84 set of drinks, then he just needs to, uh, give up. Okay, you know I'm not trying to be mean, because, you know, everyone's different, but this girl right here, a young adult, her last, her last name is Ortega, but them titties be looking like orangutan, boy. Alright, so Chauncey is doing a very good job of chatting it up with his new friends here. And, uh, I think we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Let's, uh, head over to one of these karaoke machines and sound like ass. This literally sounds like two cancer-ridden cats shitting their intestines out. I, I'm, I, I just, I don't have no words. Why does Chauncey sing like that? I mean, I can't sing either, but you just gotta learn how to carry a tune, Chauncey. You can't just be going, hey, do, do. you gotta go, hey, yeah. All right, so Chauncey finished his singing or whatever the hell you want to call it with okra, and he's now grabbing a drink and... I guess they're just gonna hang out in this room and listen to this, you know, school teacher sing. No, no, they've had it. They said, fuck this, we are out. You know what I find strange? I find it strange that Chauncey has not heard it all from Bridget today. I know Chauncey's fingers isn't broken, but, you know, at least text your boy. Come on. Alright, so we're gonna send a text to Bridget. We're just gonna say, hey, how's it going? I mean, 10 o'clock at night, we haven't heard from our woman. Something ain't right. Alright, so Chauncey's had a little bit to drink here, and, uh, and, oh, oh, Chauncey, don't, don't, come on, man! If you're gonna flirt with somebody, don't do it with the girl in the fucking puppy sweater! Oh my god, Chauncey is back to singing again. For somebody who is so bad at singing, I don't know why he does it so much. I don't think that, I don't think he likes it. He's, oh no, now here comes the chick that you're trying to pick up in her little fucking pancake bray. Let's see how she likes it. Nope, she doesn't like it either. Chauncey, stop, you got a crowd growing. They're, they're, they're not here because you sound good. They're here because you're literally making a fool of yourself. Sometimes you just can't help, Chauncey. I can't, you know, I, I can only do so much. I mean, shit. Oh, John Legend! John Legend's in the build now. This is one of Chauncey's kind of acquaintances. They got a sliver of green. I tell you, you know, a whole lot has not happened in this episode, but it's kind of nice to just chill, go out and drink. Chauncey has no worries, and this... Hold on. This girl next to him has a chicken nugget on her damn shirt. And I'll tell you what, Chauncey is one hell of a lush here. We came in here tonight with like a thousand something dollars. We've spent like 30 on fucking drinks. All right, so uh, Bridget has not texted us back. I don't know if there's something going on between Chauncey and Bridget that we don't know about, but I guess we're going to find out. Is there a romance brewing somewhere else? It sure as hell isn't going to be with Chauncey. 
I think Bridget's cheating on us, Chauncey. I don't know, man. That's just my instincts. I think Chauncey needs to investigate that a little bit more. You know what? Chauncey's had a few drinks in him, and he's gonna check to see if his woman's cheating. Wait, wait, wait. She's walking out. Chauncey, wait. Hey, why are you knocking? They're out in the damn hallway. I'm here because you are, are sleeping around on me, aren't you? Chauncey, check the apartment for a dude. God damn it. There's no guys here. Ah, I'm Chauncey's still on you, Bridget Cote, you slob. Little fox, you. All right, so Chauncey came over thinking that maybe Bridget had somebody over. That's why she was ignoring him. But unless the dude jumped out of a... Uh, how many stories up are we? Oh, hell, he'd be dead as hell. Unless he jumped out of this building, Bridget is, in fact, not being infidelous or adulterous. Shit, I can't, I can't think of a good word. You know what? Chauncey is going to stay the night at Bridget's house just in case that guy tries to come back if there was a guy. We're not 100% sure yet, but Chauncey's definitely going to know tonight. He told Bridget, look, I'm staying. You're going to get over it. So Chauncey is going to spend the night at Bridget Cote's house. And once again, guys, no a whole lot didn't happen this episode, but it's good to give Chauncey a break. He's been doing a lot lately, and, uh... He deserves it. So, I hope you all at least enjoyed it today. We will check uh, next episode to make sure Bridget is not, in fact, cheating on Chauncey. And we will be back with then and see what else we can get into. I hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Good day, mates. What the fuck? Why is there... Oh, it's soap.